Hey besties, what the fuck is up? Welcome back to my channel. You already know your girl is back with a new video and we're about to be getting into some real deep shit. But before I get started, I do want to mention that I'm going to be getting ready while I talk to you guys because obviously I'm not going to be sitting down here just like staring at the camera and talking. Sit the fuck down, get ready to do your makeup, clean your room, do what you got to do while you listen to this because not only do I have to listen to this, but so do you girl, so... Or whoever is watching dude i need to learn how to stop cussing but it's just like a habit like i don't know the habit the habit burger how can i forget him girl i would like to know too how do we forget him no i'm just kidding girl to be honest you came to the right honestly there's not even like a set time for you to forget him like for some bitches it takes i mean for some girls it takes years months for some people it takes days like i feel like everybody is so different when it comes to like moving on and forgetting about your significant other or like your ex or whatnot i feel like for everybody is different you don't necessarily have to forget him right away like girl it's a process you're not gonna forget about him de la noche a la mañana obviously you're not gonna be like oh i'm gonna wake up and like he's not gonna be on my mind no more like trust me it does not work like that i wish it would work like that because why the fuck do we have to keep thinking that keep missing people that aren't really supposed to be in our lives but that's just the way life is and that's just the way that sometimes we just have to deal with shit but honestly girl keep yourself distracted go out have fun but also remember that distractions are temporary so all these distractions are not always going to be there what are you going to do when those distractions aren't there no more like you're not going to know how to cope with you like missing him and none of that right because you're not going to be having fun no more you're not going to be out and about you're not going to be getting drunk or smoking or whatever you do to distract yourself um so always remember to yeah have your distractions but as well like learn how to cope with those feelings on your own don't just always depend on other people to keep you happy and don't like depend on going out and drinking and all that to keep you happy because i'm telling you like that's just temporary and you're gonna eventually outgrow that and when you do you're not gonna know how to cope on your own anyways girl for the meantime just keep yourself distracted like i said but also give yourself time to heal don't right away go into a new relationship like give yourself time to like find yourself you know don't go right away to go find another guy because i feel like most of the times that doesn't really work out well but i know for some girls like they'll leave their boyfriend that they were with for like four years and then a month later they'll find like a guy and then they'll have such a good relationship so it just depends honestly it just depends on the person and it just depends on you as well but in my personal experience um i let myself feel everything like on my own you know i let myself cry you know what i forgot my fucking pins i was about to get started and i forgot my hair pins how could i how could i what do you do when someone's falling out of love with you stop that's so sad because i feel like that's such a sad thing to experience like seeing your significant other like fall out of love with you is just something that i literally don't wish upon anybody especially because dude these guys are so fucking like random like it's so crazy and scary how someone could just wake up with different feelings like the next day like it's so crazy like one day you guys will be good and then the next they wake up and they hit you with the i'm losing feelings like i don't want to be together i've had guys do that to me before and honestly it sucks i've also done that to guys as well though like i can't even lie um but that's just the way life is dude like honestly sometimes you just wake up with different feelings sometimes you're just not feeling it no more and honestly that's the, like way life is you know but i also feel like when you start feeling that way like dude let your significant other know like don't hide it you know so for the person that asked me this honestly be grateful that the person told you you know as fucked up as it is like be grateful that they told you that they're falling out of love with you just because you don't want to be like guessing either oh does he love me or does he love me not you know what i mean but let's say the situation is different like let's say he's not even telling you but you just notice that he's falling out of love with you he just doesn't want to tell you like he doesn't know how to 
and he's just like hiding it but deep down you know that the love isn't there no more now that's a fucking sad situation because you're stuck like he doesn't want to talk about it but you do but he doesn't know how to tell you that he's falling out of love with you you know what i mean so in that situation that's fucking sad as fuck but that's when you need to put your pride to the side and tell yourself honestly why am i being with someone that doesn't give a fuck about me like in what way is that going to benefit you literally in no way whatsoever i feel like if you're with somebody like the the energy has to be equal like you give 50 and that person gives 50 not you give 80 and they give 20 or you give 99 and they just give that one percent of energy like no babe always remember that the energy has to be matched like you just can't be giving your auto someone that's not giving shit to you because at the end of the day you're just gonna fuck yourself over and it's not gonna be worth it there's so many people out here that are willing to love you for you and are willing to like give out the energy that you give them so don't just depend on that one person and don't just depend on their love because trust me there's so many people out here that could love you correctly and you're waiting for that person to love you correctly like it's not worth it trust me waiting for somebody in my opinion and what i've experienced it's never worth it getting cheated on and how to move on it's been a month i got cheated on and i'm still sad i got a lot of these questions a lot of my girls out here have gotten cheated on so much and that's literally the main topic that everybody has been like asking me about even on tiktok everybody's always like how do you cope with a breakup like when you got cheated on girl how did you deal with it this is not bitch let me just tell you it was a process like oh my god it took me so freaking long to like move on and to better myself and to finally realize that staying with somebody that cheats on you is never worth it at the end of the day regardless if people are like oh they change oh it gets better bitch no it doesn't because who the fuck has the heart to cheat on their significant other honestly there's no excuse to cheating like i really don't care what anybody says there is never an excuse to cheating there's never an excuse to sleeping with another girl while you have a girlfriend sleeping with another guy while you have a boyfriend bitch honestly just grow the fuck up and leave your significant other and do what you want to do like why be with someone if you're gonna be sleeping with other people or seeing other people at the same time that just doesn't make sense to me and it never has because what the fuck like you're literally just wasting each other's time not even the other person but your own like why even do that to yourself especially these guys i'm not saying that us girls are perfect because i'm not gonna lie bitch i was a cheater at once at one point in my life but i learned how to grow out of that i feel like life is too short to just be playing games and doing all that shit like it's either or are you being real with the person and are you not and if you're not kick rocks like do your own thing you know what i mean how to find peace honestly this has been like a struggle for me just because it's honestly been hard for me to like i guess find my peace or even find myself in general like there's days where i'll feel like i have my shit together like i'll be going to the gym i'll be getting ready going out on the weekends everything and for me that's like so calming like i love um feeling like i'm having fun and feeling like i have my shit together regardless if i have fun or not um but finding peace like bitch that's hard like for each their own everybody copes differently like i said for me honestly i had to stop talking to people because the more that i talked to people like i feel like everybody just brought me bad vibes like people were just too much for me and i just had to give like a pause and be like hey like i don't know i just honestly distanced myself from people who didn't benefit me like it sounds pretty fucked up but why am i gonna have you or keep you around if in no way you're not benefiting me you know what i mean for what How are you, my love? How are you, bebe sote hermoso? Okay, okay, guys, right now, because I'm filming a video. Bye, loves. Next question was, how did you gain confidence? Bitch, this one's low-key tough just because it took me so fucking long to gain confidence. Like, there's so many girls in my DMs that are always like, dude, how are you so confident? Like, I wish I had your confidence. Like this this and that like i've seen how much you've grown like you've became so confident in yourself because i don't know if you guys remember but if you guys have been watching me for a while then you guys know that back then i was so insecure with myself like i kid you guys not i was really insecure with myself i didn't like myself i didn't like the way that i looked i didn't like the way that i would dress and i just i don't know 
I was always so hard on myself growing up because I didn't look like the rest of the girls. Like, I was so insecure about my body. I was so insecure about my face. Like, I literally thought I was ugly. Like, imagine being in middle school and in elementary school thinking that you're ugly and thinking that you're, like, not enough just because of the way that you look. Till this day, that shit sometimes gets to me. Like, I can't believe I was so hard on myself. I was just a little girl thinking that to myself. Like, I don't know. I find that super sad. But... I just grew to love myself, honestly. I always told myself, like, bruh, God put us on this fucking earth for a reason. Like, God put us in this world for a reason, girl. So, there's no time to be, like, stressing over the way that you look or over the way that you fucking are. Because, in general, like, we're all our own person and everybody is unique in their own way, you know what I mean? And regardless if you don't look like these fucking Instagram models, like, girl, that does not matter. As long as you feel good with yourself, that's all that matters. Everybody is different. Not everybody is the same fucking person. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own insecurities. Everybody has their own way of being. And that's just that. None of us are perfect. I kid you not. There's nobody on this fucking planet that's perfect. People might make it seem like they are. They might make it seem like their life is picture perfect. But I can guarantee you that... It's never like that, you know? People Whoops. People including myself struggle with their own insecurities, struggle with being confident, struggle with putting themselves out here, especially my people that do social media. Like that shit is hard having to put yourself out here constantly even when you're going through it cuz dude, this is like a job. Like you don't post one day and that's like your paycheck already going down it's basically like a nine to five like let's say oh i don't want to show up that's basically what it is when you don't want to post a video or you don't want to post content girl the money goes down and you have to be so consistent dude so it's hard it's hard being in the public eye and being confident when sometimes you don't even feel like being fucking confident you're really not but you gotta fake it till you make it girl anyways that was okay out of topic i don't know if that made sense but for me it was honestly just telling myself like i said that everybody is unique in their own way and also when i started going to the gym dude i gained so much confidence like it's crazy how much the gym changed the way that i think and my points of views and although there's times where i hate the gym because i'm so attached to it like the days that i don't go i literally feel like shit like i feel like i failed literally but i always remind myself that I can't be so hard on myself. There's days where I'm not able to go and that's totally fine. How do you know you're over your ex? Bitch, I don't know. You just know, like, there's no like how. Like, you just know, like, on your own. You're just like, you don't react to this or you don't react to that. Like, you don't react to anything about them, you know, in general. So that's kind of when you know you're like, I don't even give a fuck about this person. To the age. Okay, I'm back. I wet this bitch up. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Do you think guys can still love you and still give up? To be honest, this shit low-key relates to me a lot just because... Like, my personal experience, I still loved this person. But in a way, like, I just kind of gave up on us, you know? Like, I kind of gave up on the idea of us being together just because I outgrew the person. So I feel like low-key, you can still love someone and give up but i wouldn't necessarily call it giving up it's kind of just realizing like the relationship is not really worth it you know and everybody has their own feelings honestly you can't control nobody's feelings like if this guy doesn't want to be with you no more and he tells you there's nothing you can do or say to change his mind because deep down like he already knows that he doesn't want to be with you so why even like try and change his mind or beg for somebody that has already made it clear to you que no quiere estar contigo you know what i mean i don't know but that's just the way that i think of it like if a guy lets it be known or a guy shows me that he just doesn't want to be with me and he's like over me and stuff like that i'll respect his decision and i'll let him be just because you shouldn't be begging nobody to be with you you shouldn't be begging nobody to want to be with you at all if a person really likes you and loves you for who you are then they'll stay with you how do i let go when i'm so attached to him honestly i feel like nowadays there's not really love in these relationships i feel like there's more attachment than love because when you love somebody like it's not gonna hurt you girl like trust me when i tell you the difference between loving somebody and being attached to somebody loving somebody 
it's like fuck i love them so much like it's such a good feeling on the inside like you really love the person but being attached is like oh like i'm so attached and i don't want to be with anybody but them like bitch that's being attached you know so i don't necessarily think that you're in love i feel like you're more attached than anything and that's what you have to tell yourself like bitch i'm attached i'm not in love there's more attachment than love honestly and i relate to that that's how i was in my past relationship i feel like there was more attachment issues than love because bitch i don't think i was in love honestly anymore if that makes sense but you just have to give yourself and the person space like being with them every day like being breathing under their neck and like just being there all the time like bruh that shit is gonna eventually get annoying for them and for you as well especially for the girls that are clingy and like don't want to leave their boyfriends alone at all don't want to give them time don't let them be with their family don't let them be with their friends like personally i find that shit annoying just because everybody has their own lives dude like think of it this way would you like for your boyfriend to not let you live your life at all for your boyfriend not to even let you breathe for a minute like i don't know i know a lot of people on social media brag about it they're like oh i'm so attached to my boyfriend and i'm so clingy and this this and that i'm like i don't leave him alone and he doesn't leave me alone honestly i don't find that a flex like i low-key find that shit like cringe like why are you doing that to yourself you know i feel like dude you gotta learn how to live on your own for a bit you know give them their space let them give you your space and like alternate it's not just always oh like my boyfriend this or oh my boyfriend that like you know what i hate when girls get into relationships and then they end up like stop talking to their friends just because of their boyfriend or like let's say their friends try to make plans with the girl that has a boyfriend and the girl wants to bring her boyfriend along everywhere she goes like personally i find that shit annoying like why are you gonna ruin your friendship like that you have just over your boyfriend like bitch you're always with your boyfriend like make some time at least for your other friendships you know what i mean it's not gonna hurt you to hang out with your friends one day a couple of hours without your boyfriend there i don't know i i just think that's just so childish like learn how to mature and like live without them for a bit like girl it's just a couple hours i promise you'll be fine what helped you get out of a dark stage in your life um honestly I feel like my family my family helped me so much and low-key talking to god bitch not low-key high key talking to god was honestly the best decision 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 that i've ever made just because i finally felt like somebody was like actually hearing me like although i couldn't hear him talk to me i know that he was hearing me out and like i know that he was doing his best to help me with what i was dealing with you know? and i know a lot of people that aren't religious a lot of people that don't believe in god and that's totally fine each to their own but personally like i feel like that's what helped me out a lot um i just low-key felt like he was there like he was there listening to me and believe it or not bitch i'd be praying every night like i pray to god i pray to keep my family safe i pray to keep myself safe I pray for people that sometimes don't even deserve to get prayed for, but bitch, I pray for them because some people just need a prayer, honestly. Bitches are evil. People are evil in general, and sometimes you just need to catch a prayer for them. How to move on from an ex your heart refuses to let go of him? Dude, all these questions that I get, I literally feel like younger me could relate so much to because I feel like you guys think that you guys can't live without the guy that you're with. Like, I feel like that's what you guys are telling yourselves, and that's why you don't allow yourself to move on because you guys think that you guys are not going to be okay without him and you're not you're going to be depressed girl you're going to be sad you're going to be crying you're going to be going through it without the guy but trust me when i tell you you're going to get over it eventually obviously not overnight like it's going to take a fucking while but you're going to get over it and that's what i wish you guys could all understand that you'll be fine without that person like i kid you not if that person is not even crying over you why cry over them like if they're not even worrying that you guys are not together why are you worrying that you guys aren't together like dude life is too short to be stuck on somebody that doesn't want to be with you like know your fucking worth get the fuck up and tell yourself girl they don't want me so let me find somebody who does want me trust me there's many guys out here who are gonna want you for you not for anything else but you and you're not going to find them right away. It takes time. Sometimes they come to you. Sometimes you got to go to them. But bitch, just let it come naturally, honestly. Let God do his thing. Just go with the fucking flow. Don't force nothing. Let everything be. Because at the end of the day, bitch, what is meant to be will be. And what isn't meant to be won't be. Period. 
But trust me, girl, you will be okay without that guy. Stop telling yourself that you're not. Because if I got through it, you'll get through it. It took me six years to finally realize that I don't need to depend on no guy to keep me happy. Here and there, though, I'm not going to lie. My daddy issues be hitting and I'm like, fuck, like, I want to just talk to a guy. Like, feeling the need to talk to a guy feels good. But no, girl, you need to learn how to cope and be on your own. Do you feel insecure of your lonjitas? Because I do. I got this question a lot. There's a lot of girls saying, how do I wear crop tops? Or, like, they don't like wearing crop tops because they're insecure. And I feel you guys on that. It took me so long to start wearing little shirts. Um, I remember back then, I would only wear little shirts, like, in pictures. And then I would put, like, a sweater over, like, my shirts because i was so insecure i kid you guys not but always remind yourself like literally nobody is staring at you like nobody cares what you're wearing nobody cares what you look like there's gonna be people that judge but what the fuck can they do like bitch just be confident in yourself tell yourself like i'm that bitch and that's about it life is too short to be caring about what you're wearing to be caring about what others are wearing literally just mind your business and others are gonna mind their business as well as long as you're not out here being a bitch and judging nobody's gonna do that to you a boy having a girl best friend and leaving me just because he wants more friendship with her bitch that's not a boyfriend to be fucking honest that's a dumbass because who does that if he chooses his girl best friend over you girl you were never his girlfriend to begin with like honestly that's some little kid shit. I feel like low-key, the person that asked me this is either like a freshman or a middle schooler because what the fuck, that's some little ass kid shit. I wish a dude would leave me for his girl best friend. Like, boy, bye, I wouldn't even beg for you. Like, if she was even there at first, like, to begin with, I wouldn't even be fucking with a guy that has a girl best friend just because these bitches are dumb as fuck. And most girls don't even know how to respect a relationship. How do you tell a guy you're not ready to do it yet? This question is honestly so important. Like, I feel like not a lot of girls like to ask just because they're, like, embarrassed or they're, like, shy. But, bitch, trust me, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Like, it's normal. I feel like this should be talked about way more. Because sometimes I feel like girls feel so pressured into having sex with, like, a guy because they don't know how to say no. Or they just feel, like, embarrassed when saying no or that they're not ready. And, girl, don't feel embarrassed. Like, it's your body, your choice. If you don't want to do something, let it be known. Literally regardless of what the guy's reaction is gonna be let it be known and if he doesn't respect that then that's not the guy for you because a real man will not do anything that you wouldn't want him to do you know what i mean if you say no he needs to back off and that's about it but if he keeps on going and tries to you know like do stuff while you're saying no then baby girl choke him freaking hit his throat because what the fuck guys are guys are scary these days i'm not even gonna lie and it's scary because sometimes we can't even defend ourselves like guys are so fucking big and strong sometimes like it's really hard even when you say no to them and you tell them let me go this this and that trust me like they don't listen sometimes and it's sad like that's not a guy that's a whole ass coward bitch because a real guy will respect what you want and what you don't want dude my keloid literally got so disgusting anyways somebody said there's nothing wrong with my life i should be happy but there's this sadness and i don't know where it comes from girl when i tell you that i totally feel you on that like i kid you not like that's just about to make me tear up because girl i could relate to that i feel like my life is good i have everybody in my life i have my mom i have my dad i have my cousins i have my siblings i have all of you guys like more than a hundred thousand of you guys i have so many people in my life but somehow I still get this like sadness in me. Like sometimes I just feel stuck. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing. So I totally understand where you're coming from, girl. And it's okay to feel those things. It's okay to get sad even when your life is good. It's okay to still get that sadness. But always tell yourself and remind yourself. Like you have so many people that love you. You have such a good life going for you. Um, there's just days where you're not going to feel okay. And that's okay. Like I kid you not. It's okay to feel things. Don't think like it's not okay to be sad because everybody gets sad everybody goes through things and everybody feels things differently how do you keep motivation for the gym if i'm being real with you guys i have not gone to the gym in about three weeks three or four weeks yeah i haven't gone to the gym in a while just because the motivation isn't there i've been getting so much anxiety to drive and i just haven't been feeling it honestly and in a way i feel like i'm getting so lazy like i hate that i hate feeling lazy i feel freaking hate i hate feeling like i'm not getting anything done 
but that's just the way that i've been feeling recently and i'm telling myself to not be so hard on myself because there's times where we're gonna feel like that and there's times where we're, we're not gonna feel like doing anything and that's okay but i also can't be getting used to this you know i can't be getting used to being lazy because girl that's not the lifestyle that we want to have what are some red flags in a toxic relationship if he doesn't give you your phone if you find out he's texting other girls if he goes out without telling you if he doesn't want to give you his location if he lies to you if he's out at night without even letting you know bitch the list could go on how did he grow on social media i honestly feel like it just happened out of nowhere um when i was in middle school i would do these like um playlist videos and they started getting a lot of attention because a lot of people like liked those type of videos back then and even to this day a lot of people still like those type of videos but it's just not really stuff that i like filming because they don't really have a point to it if that makes sense they're just like kind of there anyways i would like to say that it just randomly started happening like i don't know when are you planning to move out btw love you angie and hope you and your family are doing great thank you girl i really appreciate it but honestly i don't really know and i don't have like an idea on when i want to move out i feel like as of now i'm perfectly fine where i am and once i graduate high school um i do want to end up going to school still after i don't know necessarily for what like if i want to do college or if i want to go to like um a different school i don't really know what i want to do yet but i do know that i need to get my shit together because girl it's my senior year and i cannot be slacking girl how do you maintain yourself calm when you're stressed that's honestly fucking hard because i feel like i tend to always stress myself out even more than i should be doing like like let's say i'm dealing with something and i tend to overthink the situation so much to the point where like i feel like everything is gonna freaking go downhill and not work out for me that's when i always tell myself like god always listens and helps in the most weird ways but he does so whatever happens always has a reason behind it so i always tell myself to not be so hard on what's gonna happen and not be so hard on what's happening i've been on and off with my ex he cheated and still texts me once in a while i need help girl i was in your same situation i'm telling you i relate to everything you guys tell me everything that you guys have gone through bitch been there done that and i'm barely 17 like imagine there's not even cool but anyways you need to stop allowing yourself to be so available to him literally block him because if you don't he's gonna keep on texting you girl he's gonna keep on reaching out Lock him on snapchat imessage tiktok instagram facebook messenger whatsapp gmail whatever block him from everything because if you don't then it's gonna be the same cycle over and over again you're allowing yourself to let him message you you're allowing yourself to respond and why even respond to him if he cheated what is there to even talk about with him why even be on and off with somebody that doesn't respect you and never respected you because if a person cheats that means they've never respected you from the beginning you don't think twice about cheating bitch honestly so tell yourself that and i'm sorry if i sound harsh but it's true you don't do that shit to somebody that you love if a guy isn't giving effort anymore but he's also going through stuff should i stay in a way girl you have to low-key understand where he's coming from you know because obviously if your boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other in general is going through something it's obviously going to be hard like to be fully into the relationship you know but it's also not your fault you know so they shouldn't i guess take it out on you whatever they're going through they shouldn't take it out on you but you also should be understanding with whatever the situation is but there is times though where guys low-key use whatever they're going through as an excuse to not be trying no more you know what i mean and that's the part that does suck because sometimes you don't know if you should believe a guy or if you shouldn't believe them but girl just talk to him and honestly try and understand where he's coming from because i feel like sometimes guys feelings get how do you say it? like get ignored in a way or don't get took serious or don't get taken seriously 
just because they're guys and i feel like people always think oh well he's a guy he should like be strong and know how to deal with it or he shouldn't cry or he shouldn't be going through that but guys go through so many things that they don't talk about just because they're scared to get judged just because they're guys and i find that sad because imagine if we were in their position bitch we wouldn't like that we want to be heard obviously right we want to be seen we want to be understood so do guys so try and put yourself in their position as well because let's say you were in that situation you would want to be understood you would want to be the video ended because the time was ticking but yeah girl honestly just try and be understanding with him talk it out with him like trust me communication is key in a relationship what do i do if he ghosts me i see him every day at school girl i feel you well i don't even see that guy but like I hate when guys do that like dude just tell me why you're not talking to me instead of ghosting me or just tell me that you don't want to talk to me no more i never understand why guys can't communicate and just speak up why they don't want to talk to you no more you know like or you don't even have to explain yourself just tell me hey i'm not trying to text you no more boom that's it you know what i mean not just like leave me on red and keep me like wondering what i did wrong bitch like what i hate guys that do that shit like grow up girl honestly if he had the balls to ghost you, he wasn't shit. Because a real man will let you know what the fuck is up. But he didn't. So, fuck him. Period. Not actually, but like, fuck him. Like, let that let you know that type of way. How do I trust someone after a toxic relationship? I feel like, low-key, this is such a hard thing. Because, dude, once you get cheated on, once you've been in a toxic relationship... You low-key think that the rest of, like, your relationships are going to be that way. But trust me, they're really not. Not every guy's the same. Not every girl's the same. Not every person in general is the same. Okay? Always tell yourself that. Just because this guy cheated on you and fucked your friend or fucked another girl or was texting other girls doesn't mean that this guy's going to do the same. He could be the complete opposite and fuck your mom instead. I'm just kidding. But always just remember that just because a person did it doesn't mean that another one's going to do it. Don't put your trauma onto the next person just because you're scared but obviously talk to them let them know like hey honestly i've been through it i've been through so much in my past relationship and i don't want to go through that in this relationship i'm just letting you know what i've been through and i just want to let you know that i don't ever want to go through that again and depending on the type of dumbass that you're dealing with sometimes they understand and they're like hey you know what bro i can't be doing her dirty like she's she's gone through too much already you know but then there's other guys that don't give a fuck and just like to pile onto your trauma and give you more trauma. But hey, girl, each to their own. A ver cuál te toca. Look, it's hot as fuck. The girl, I've been talking to this sweet ass guy that even told me he'll ask my dad to take me on a date. Should I talk to my dad or just ghost him? I feel like you don't have no reason to ghost him, girl. So what the fuck? Let him take you out. Talk to your dad about it. And just see how things go like you don't have nothing to lose how do you help yourself go through your bad days without letting them affect you talking about that i saw this quote the other day and it was like don't let your bad days make you think you have a bad life and honestly bitch that's so true just because you're having rough days doesn't mean that you have a bad life how did you deal with your anxiety dude it's so crazy how you guys ask me these questions when like I've been going through exactly everything that you guys are asking. I don't know why. I feel like it's so fucking crazy. But recently, my anxiety has been at an all-time high. I'm kidding you guys not. Like, I've been so anxious to drive. I've been so anxious to go to the gym. I've been so anxious for everything. I don't know why. And it's such a shitty feeling just because I know that I'm better than this. And I know that I'll be okay. But something in my head just tells me that something wrong is going to happen. And I hate thinking that way. I hate being negative because it's never going to get me nowhere. So besties, I am done getting ready. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't as long as I would want it to be. But honestly, it doesn't take me that long to get ready anymore. Just because I have my eyelash extensions. But I really hope that this video did help you guys out in some way. I just want you guys to be reassured that you guys aren't alone. Although I can't really be physically with you guys all the time just know that i'm here if anything my dms are literally always open to anybody that ever wants to have a conversation anybody that ever needs help i'm always here to hear you guys out and i don't ever want you guys to feel alone because i know i don't like feeling alone um 
so i just want you guys to know that i'm here for you guys there's many other people that are there as well and remember that i'm not here to judge i'm here to listen out i'm here to help you guys out give my opinion anyways remember i fucking love you guys so much and you guys are so freaking loved i wish i could fucking hug you guys right now because bitch i know you're going through it and trust me i'm going through it as well but we're gonna get better eventually things do get better but enough talking girl before i start tearing the fuck up i have a little date or whatnot so your bitch gots to go